Hey, it's Pastor Joe. It's time for our Tuesday e-blast. Just got out of a, a lengthy staff meeting this morning uh, with our staff as we follow up on, continue to follow up on what happened at Easter and the lives that were touched and uh, working to get those people involved in ministry and discipleship in their life, following the Lord. And then also that launches us into preparation for Mother's Day and Father's Day, which we're really excited about. We're, there's a lot of groundwork being laid out. Uh, in fact, we started in January, as I've shared with more, uh, many of you before, of just moving towards and through this year with one goal in mind, and that's bringing people into a deeper and more intimate relationship with the Father and uh, to be real, become disciples of Christ, what that really means for our lives. So there's so a lot of preparation and planning going on with some very special gifts from Mom on that day, but one of the special things we're doing is our photo booth. We've done this in the past, been a few years, but at both campuses, we're having a photo booth set up so that you can bring your family in and get a family photo taken. And those will be, takes about a week to get all that process, but we'll get them uploaded and we'll put them on our webpage and you'll be able to go to the webpage and download your photos from that page. And they're gonna be well done, great cameras, great photography, uh, lighting, everything's, it's, it backdrop's gonna be great. So it will really be a great setting for a family photo. So if it's been a while since you've had one, uh, moms, get on the phone. Tell them what you want for Mother's Day is this photo. Bring them to church. We'll encourage you and encourage them. And then we'll also have it before and after the service, uh, people signing up and getting their, their photos done. So we'll be talking a lot more about that in, in the next two weeks on how to get on that list and how to how to get your family photo taken. For visitors, it'll be the same thing. You come as a visitor, we'll uh, we'll we'll get you a part of that line, get your photo. So call it your family. Say, hey, come be a part of this. I'm gonna have my family there. Mom's already made those those calls out to to get people involved. Uh, so this, again, we're, we're bathing this in prayer. It's not gimmick. It's just bringing people into uh, to church, into relationship with Jesus Christ. We started in Easter sharing the message series called Knowing God. We started the Sunday after Easter with our lift groups this last week on Knowing God. Uh, I preached part one on Easter about the introduction, how to get to know God. Number two, we talked about deepening our relationship on defining our relationship with God. We talked about putting parameters on that. What does it really mean when people talk about defining the relationship? So we'll, uh, we're will we going to continue with that this Sunday. But this Sunday is going to be a very unique message because uh, I'm talking about the presence of God in our life on a daily basis and uh, how to understand that, how to discover that, how to relate to that, how to involve God, Holy Spirit in your life and presence. Let me share with you a passage from the Amplified Bible. It's called the Amplified because it amplifies what's, what's being written by adding a few syllables to the Greek's uh, interpretation of it. But in Ephesians 1, verse 15, 23, Paul writes to the church, and it says the lengthy prayer. Let me just read a few verses of it. He said, For this reason, because I've heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward the saints of God's people, I do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. And then he says this in verse 17, For I always pray to the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, that he may grant you, now listen to this, he may grant you a spirit of wisdom and revelation of insight into the mysteries and secrets in the deep and intimate knowledge of God. In other words, he said there are things that the Holy Spirit wants to reveal to us about our intimate relationship with God that, that, that we need to thoroughly enjoy that relationship. So I'm going to talk about that Spirit's work in your life on Sunday morning and how the Holy Spirit wants to be uh, involved in your life to give you the discernment you need, but not only that, the power you need to live the godly life he's called you to live. But really, what I want to focus on Sunday is the importance and the priority of the Holy Spirit working in your life on a daily basis to reveal the things you need to know about your relationship with God, even more so to know God more intimately and, and on a much deeper level. So we'll be talking about that. And I just encourage you today, just not just to talk about that, but a simple way of just putting that into practice is even now today as you're facing whatever task or responsibilities or jobs or maybe life crisis on some level in your life, that you would just slow down, take a moment, and spend some time with your Heavenly Father and say, Lord, I welcome you into this situation to open my eyes, to help me be discerning, to help me see, and to help you, me know that you are here, and then to empower me by your Holy Spirit to meet uh, what I have to stand before today in victory. God's available to you. He's present within your life. He, he's, he's encouraging us through scriptures. Cast your cares up on me. Bring these things to me. Lay your burden on me. I care for you. So I encourage you to involve the presence of the Holy Spirit working in your life today. Make yourself available to him. Otherwise, you're just going through motions, all right? 
and you're not enjoying the relationship, it just becomes mere dead religion. So I'm going to get a lot deeper into that this Sunday. You don't want to miss the services. So come and I'll see you Sunday. We'll talk more about it then. I love you. Looking forward to seeing you this week. It's been great to see each and every one of you each week, every week a little bit more. The attendance is growing. Easter was obviously an awesome attendance service. We had multiple services like that. Uh, we had a little lower crowd, obviously. It's the Sunday after Easter, but it didn't go as low as it does most of the time. In fact, we were a little bit above our regular averages for the Sunday after Easter. So shows that you're coming back and you're excited about being here with the people of God and the presence of God. So see you Sunday. God bless you.